stop. Down. Stop. Hello everyone. Today we embark on a fascinating journey into the heart of elevator technology. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of elevator brake systems and their precise alignment. Elevator brakes are the unsung heroes, ensuring safety with every ride. Let's explore their function and alignment intricacies, vital for a secure and smooth vertical journey. This is the handle, which is used for manually releasing the brake. Before using the handle, you must ensure to turn off the power. Normally, these handles are used for emergency rescue services. Next, we have the brake arms. There are two arms, one on the left side and the other on the right side. Next, compression springs. There are two springs, one on the left side and the other on the right. These springs provide tension to the arms and actuate the brake when the elevator stops. Next, we have the brake shoe and brake liner. There are two of these, one on the left side and the other on the right side. The liner provides grip to hold the elevator when it stops. Next, we have the brake coil. There are two coils, one on the left and the other on the right. These coils are situated inside the brake at both ends. Next, we have the plunger, and there are two of them. One on the left and the other on the right. When the electromagnet coil is energized, the electromagnetic plunger becomes rapidly magnetized in the current magnetic field. The plungers pull each other due to magnetism, driving the brake arm to overcome the brake pressure spring force. Stop. Here, you can observe that one arm moves faster than the other. In this situation, it's essential to check the spring pressure. Ensure that both spring pressures are equal according to the manufacturer's standards. If you encounter this issue, you must remove the brake and clean it properly. Dust particles, seemingly harmless, can accumulate and get stuck in the elevator brake plunger. Over time, this accumulation can interfere with the plunger's movement, affecting its ability to function correctly. When the plunger doesn't move as it should, it directly impacts the elevator brake system, leading to performance issues and, in some cases, even malfunctions. Here you can see two switches. These switches send signals to the controller when the motor is running to indicate whether the arms are open or not. If any of them do not open or open slowly, the elevator detects an error and stops. These switches provide safety for the passengers. We can adjust the gaps between the brake liner and brake drum by tightening or loosening the stretching bolt. If the bolt is rotated clockwise, the gap will increase. If rotated counterclockwise, the gap will reduce. Down. Stop. Down. Stop. Hello, dear viewers. If you found our elevator brake video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Your support fuels our passion for creating informative content. Your likes inspire us, and your subscriptions help our community grow. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Stay tuned for more.